a pleasant day to everyone. Today, we are going to learn how to represent real-life situations using functions, including piecewise functions. Recall that a function is a relation between x variable called the domain and the y variable called the range, that each x value corresponds to a unique y value where x is the independent variable in the sense that it can take on any possible values and y is a defendant variable since this value will only defend on the value of the independent variable. Let us first recall our lesson that we learned in junior high school about function and relation. We all know that a function is a relation where each element in the domain that is the x values is paired to only one value in the range that is the y values by some rule. It is a set of ordered pairs x, y such that no two ordered pairs have the same x value but different y values. In general, no two ordered pairs will have the same first components. How about relation? A relation is a rule that relates two values from a set called the domain of the function to a set of values from the set called the range. It can also be a set of all possible ordered pairs. Let us observe the difference between the two tables. Observe the relationship of the x and y values. Look, the function table and the table that is not a function. In a function table, there is one unique number in x, not repeated, has a relationship with one number in y. But, as you can see, in a table that is not a function, number 1 is being repeated twice in the x domain, has a relationship with two numbers in y. Therefore, that is not a function. Therefore, a function is an ordered sphere if there is one unique number in the element of x which is not being repeated, has a relationship with a unique number in y. And a set of ordered spheres which is not a function if there are repeated numbers in, in the element of x has a relationship with more than one numbers in y. Now, let me show you five ways to express relations and or functions. Let us use the same data of the example from the previous slide. The first way we can express a function in table of values. Look at here. The function table and not a function table. Second, we can express the relationship of x and y using a mapping diagram. Look how it looks like if it is a function and not a function. The third one is a set of ordered spheres. Observe. 
the elements of a function and not a function. The fourth way to express relation and or function is by using graphing. Look how does the graph looks like if it is a function and not a function. And the pip one is using an equation. Observe how the equation looks like if it is a function and not a function. So again, there are five ways to express a functions or relations. We have by using table. Second, we have by using mapping diagram. The third one is expressing it as a set of ordered pairs. The fourth one, we can also express it using graphing. And the fifth one is expressing the function or not a function using an equation. So that are the five ways to express relations and or functions. So let us try to represent function as representation of real life situations. In your cups left, there is an example there. Give a function f that can represent the cost of buying x meals if one meal costs 75 pesos. So, since each meal costs 75 pesos, we can express it in f of x equals. 75x or you can say it like this the function of x is equals to 75x in this case we express the functions or relations using equation if in case a situation have more than one formula you may use piecewise function Example, like this promo subscription on mobile phone. A user is charged 300 pesos monthly for a particular mobile phone, which includes 100 free text messages. So messages in excess of 100 are charged 2 pesos each. Represent the amount of consumer face each month as a function of the number of message M sent in a month. So there are more than one equation. So you have here the answer. Look at the answer. So that is piecewise function. I find this quote about function very interesting and very related to our daily life. It says, a loving relationship is one in which the loved one is free to be himself, to laugh with me, but never at me, to cry with me, but never because of me, to love life, to love himself, to love being loved. Such a relationship is based upon freedom and can never grow in a jealous heart. I hope you understand. That ends my topic for today.